Hey, hey, hey. Bo gas up in your face. Redneck Mega Man. Oh! I just want to, I just want to answer real, something real quick. This is about this glowing dark bunny rabbits. First off, scientists, what y'all thinking? Huh? I mean, are you just doing stuff just, just to prove that you can? What's this all about? Glowing dark bunny rabbit. Congratulations. Now, if I, if I owned a bunny, I could find it if the lights went out. I mean, come on. Why not make, like, glow-in-the-dark cars or glow-in-the-dark keychains or dogs or something? Something that normal people have. Not many people have a, a, a pet bunny. So you just cater into the 1% of the 1%. Here's the thing, too. Maybe you could think about making glow-in-the-dark people. I mean... Come on now, like think, think of in Silence of the Lambs if Jodie Foster had been had seen that Buffalo Bob guy, and he's glow in the dark, she wouldn't have been scared out of her wits. <laughs> it rubs the lotion on its skin. That's an idea for you, but glow in the dark people, that'd be rad as I'll get out. I tell you what. Not only would it be cool to sneak up on people like ghosts or scare people, then we could finally have some good scary movies. Because you got Paranormal Activity, The Blair Witch Project, all them movies sucked. It's all get out. They're funnier than the, I don't know what. They weren't even meant to be funny. But, glow in the dark bunnies. If you ask me, I think it's a giant conspiracy. It's big government trying to get in people's lives and eventually just suggest us to get glow in the dark genes to where we don't use as much lights in our home and you know we would decrease our carbon footprint like you know that whole global warming conspiracy thing that's it glow in the dark bunnies what the hell are you thinking